what's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, this video is going to be a video on flutter for web guys this is a really gr really great news for all my subscribers all my viewers and uh, generally the entire flutter community around the world right now the code we write for our mobile applications can also be used inside a web browser as a web application right so i thought i'll show you guys how to get started with this flutter for web uh, right away it's pretty much an easy process if you know how uh, this video will be a, a guide for that so uh, first of all if you already have dart sdk there are two ways to uh, create a new project guys a web project i'll show you both the ways okay if you have the dart sdk already installed inside your uh, system uh, you, you could follow this process this steps that i'm going to be uh, showing you uh, right away uh, this is where you get the dart sdk right if you don't have dart sdk you could install it from here obviously uh, i have uh, i am recording this on a linux machine so i'm using these steps i already in installed this dart sdk on onto my uh, machine now once that is done install this stage hand okay stage hand is like a project generator it's like your man okay uh, it will just scaffold out a new application for you and it will have some predefined templates using which you can uh, choose one of those templates so that the uh, that project is created accordingly uh, so once you have uh, used this command pub global activate stage hand to install stage hand once that is done as well uh, just type stage hand there is a lot of option help being shown right here you can see that there are uh, available generators you have a lot of generators and there is flutter web preview uh, generator as well let's use that to create a flutter web application flutter web preview stage and flutter web preview okay this is done now all you need to do is just do you can either run pubget or just open that in your vs code editor it will automatically get the packages for you. Okay, now our app is open and I am just clicking on get packages. It will automatically get the packages for me. Fine. This is done, right? Now, as you can see here, this will look exactly like our Flutter application. But this will run inside a uh, browser when I just uh, uh, tap F5. Now, uh, before uh, running this inside a browser and showing it to you guys, I will show you the second way of creating a uh, Flutter web project as well as of now. Uh, this is pretty much an easier way okay both are easier ways uh, this will be right inside your uh, vs code editor itself now uh, the second way is nothing but you just need to control shift p and you have this flutter new web project right this is available in the latest version of uh, the flutter extension for vs code guys okay so just click on flutter uh, web project it will automatically do flutter fetching stage and templates and uh, 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 you can enter a new name for your project that's about it right it's now uh, getting the packages just like it did for this uh, windows will close one of these okay these are the two ways to uh, scaffold order new project as of now the second way was much easier as i said fine this is done as well right now uh, it will change the preferences so that you guys can fine now we have this uh, web application scaffold work for us i just click on main.dart file and as you can see here we just have a normal flutter app right uh, let, let's just run this on our mobile device uh, not mobile device let's just run this and see if this runs on our web browser cool now we get the uh, application running inside our browser right we'll just go ahead and try to remove that uh, debug show banner what was that false save this it won't uh, hot reload i don't think hot reloader hot reload is supported as of now as you can see here but if we hit refresh it will automatically uh, reload and uh, the debug show banner will be removed yeah it's removed right uh, to enable hot restart i have already shown this in one of my previous videos for those of you who haven't watched that video all you need to do is get into preferences settings and uh, here you can just type flutter save uh, flutter hot restart on save is there right just uh, select this and it will automatically uh, hot restart whenever you attempt to save your file anyway uh, let's move on guys this is exactly our flutter application but it will be running inside your web browser which means that you can simply code as if you are coding your uh, flutter application for instance i'll what I usually do is I use list views, right? 
or I will do that inside this column itself. You can simply remove this text and uh, use a container maybe. Now, as you can see here, there is a container present in the uh, browser screen, right? Now, yeah, so now we have a uh, uh, Flutter application running inside our web browser, guys. That's my point exactly. Uh, to do this, you also need to install webdev, okay? Uh, after you install stage hand, just use the same command pub global activate webdev, and that's about it, okay? Uh, after you install webdev, it'll uh, you can use F5 to run uh, the Flutter application directly from your VS Code inside your web browser. I haven't talked about that, I think. While talking about everything, I didn't talk about that, I guess. See, this is the command, pub global activate webdev. Uh, now that we have seen this, let's go ahead and uh, uh, try to uh, bring in this. Some people might ask, right? This is one of the important things that you do in any application. You need to know how to load external uh, assets inside your uh, application. So uh, for web applications, it's a little bit different. So let's go ahead and uh, see that alone before we wrap up this video. So what I'll do is I'll, I have, Montserrat is one of the famous fonts used in our application, right? I mean, in our videos, right? So I'll just go ahead and copy the Montserrat font family. Here inside the web directory, create a new folder called assets maybe and then inside that uh, folder create another folder called uh, uh, fonts maybe and uh, inside that simply paste these fonts okay after this is done uh, what you need to do is uh, get back into vs code editor we'll stop this for now and then uh, get into this web directory inside which our assets and fonts are present right now, right? So get here, uh, right click on this, create a new file. Uh, uh, font manifest dot JSON. Fine. And inside this, uh, if you remember in our Flutter applications, we used to specify fonts and other assets in pubspec.yaml file, right? Here what you, pubspec.yaml file, sorry, pubspec this file. Now uh, here what you'll do is you'll just get into font manifest.json. This is where you used to, uh, I hope you remember guys, this is where you used to place assets and uh, fonts, right? Now here, uh, get into font, create a file called font manifest.json and inside that file, simply uh, give it in a JSON format, give the font in a JSON format, right? I'll show you. Uh, family. Montserrat and uh, fonts uh, open a list and uh, asset sorry fonts Montserrat regular regular dot ttf fine save this Sorry guys, I made a small mistake. This should be inside this directory. Okay. Uh, now we can simply get back to main dot dot. Hit on F5. Now as you can see here, the font is changed, right? Some random text. We get a different uh, font. I'll increase the size. See, now you can see that uh, we are getting the Montserrat font. So this is how you load uh, different external fonts inside your uh, web applications as well, guys. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. Uh, I have tried a lot of example stuff that they gave along with uh, uh, the, I mean, an example stuff that they gave in the Flutter uh, web repository itself. There is an example directory. I tried a lot of these and I also tried uh, 
uh, creating some of my uh, UI challenges inside your uh, inside the web browser as well and everything seems to work fine guys this is still a technical uh, release pre I mean not a release preview this is just a technical preview and uh, hopefully I think it will move into uh, beta soon but there it's exciting and uh, I am expecting a lot of great uh, stuff from the uh, Flutter team so yeah guys this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys today if you found this video helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too if you uh, get stuck or get into any sort of errors while setting up uh, the projects kindly let me know in the comments and i'll try to help you guys if you like what i'm doing on this channel kindly hit the thumbs up button okay kindly hit the thumbs up button and uh, if you love my content kindly subscribe to my channel to watch more cool stuff uh, on both flutter mobile applications as well as web applications uh, so yeah guys, subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!